It's UFC 199. 199, not 999. 199. And it's the first fight, so you better get on your. You better get on your. You better get ready. Let the dog in the house. Coming up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Lenil Daryush and Jake. The Texas Okay, hold on, I want it. No, I just can't get off mine. What, you had your guy? Yeah. Oh, come on. I don't want the other one to work on. I thought I was on the spot. Oh, oh bullshit. I'll take that. James Vick, coming off the best training camp of his life. And he on is ready Texas. to walk away with a victory. This guy has outstanding control on the ground amongst the best in the world. And holding He's currently undefeated. One nine fights in a row. One nine of his last nine fights. I'll take that little motherfucker. Techniques. Team Spin is set for tonight's fight. <clears throat> He's big. He's goofy. He's up. Vinyl Daryush. Here comes the Italian. Vinyl Daryush. Uh, Iraqian, excuse me. From Iran. This guy is a devastating Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. His submissions are incredibly technical. Great endurance, great condition. Won 10 of his last 12 him, fights. He will set you up with one technique while you're defending another. Video you ready to fight. Inside I can't wait for UFC 199 when Dominic Cruz, the magician, just makes work out of favor. I think he's gonna be a knockout. I really do. I know Cruz ain't known for knocking people out. I think the magician's in work. Four inch reach advantage, taller than you by five inches. I'm big and I'm goofy. And I'm ugly. Well, you know I can take one in the face. Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, he ain't good old hillbilly. He ain't good old hillbilly. So damn residential hillbillies. I would be. He's fighting out of Huntington Beach, California. I'm gonna kick his ass out of America. And here's Mario Yamasaki, in my opinion, the best official in the UFC. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Black trunks for Vic. White trunks should are you. Nice jab, very snappy jab. Oh, no. He lands a knee to the body from the clinch. Joe, that's another big knee. And he's done a ton of damage with those tonight. Needs a high one. Nice, nice uppercut right there. Daryush gets him in the tie clinch again. Great trip, and he completes the takedown. And he connects here. He's going to get back up to his feet. Well done, well done. And he throws him to the ground. Into full guard. Nice right Good hand. shot. Trying to hold on to him in full guard. Back up. Back. 
Oh, player Dan's. Oh, left hand. Daryush has got him in the plum clinch again. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. Huge kick misses. Excellent jab by Vic. They separate. Nice inside leg kick. Both men exchanging. Good combination. Beautiful right hand. And they move out of the clinch. He's looking for the takedown. Whoa, so good takedown. Take right With his outstanding wrestling pedigree, it's really no surprise that he has utilized his great takedown skills tonight. Half guard. Big Nasty elbow. elbow lands to the head. In full guard now. Disengaged from the clinch. Nice, oh, nice. Leg kick. He's got over and under here. And I take down. Into the round. And that was a huge Not a good round for Vic. Dariush really putting on the clinic. And there's a nice knee to the body. Oh, I'm a talker. So far, I'm the good. So you got to play. And here's another knee to the body. Oh. One more perfectly right, placed shot to the man, body. You know, like Incredible to highlights in that round. Right, listen, they want to be out. Dog, dogs want to be with nature. And the lovely Brittany gets a Maybe wants to be with nature. Want to pass nature. Try to set up a takedown here. In close inside leg kick. He's in a better position here with the tie clinch. Nice knees. Grab the knee when he oh, threw it. Down. Half guard. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, wow, that's a big left hand. hand. Takes him right back down. Oh, there he goes. Full mount. There we go. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. And he gets reversed. The swelling on his eyes is starting to get really bad. He's moved to full guard. Takes it to half guard. Reversal and into half guard. Daryush gets back up again. They're locked in a clinch. A straight left. James Vick's not effectively using his reach advantage tonight. He's certainly not using that reach advantage. What he's doing is fighting like a guy who's much shorter than he actually is. Well, I haven't been able to get outside distance. 90 seconds remain in the round. And there's a nice straight by Vic. You cannot stop that like that. Stop. Under a minute in the round. Oh, 
half guard. He's back up again. Vic with a good kick to the body. And a beautiful oh, takedown. And the round comes to a close. And what is thought I was gonna let you punch on me? Here's a nasty ground and pound. Oh come on, I think I, did, I think I did a good job in that round. And here is another ground and pound strike. And here's another powerful ground and pound strike. I'm sure you have. Relax. Nice round. Okay, listen. Last round of the fight. This is the opportunity to finish this fight. You're up on the scorecards and you are winning this fight. This is the last round. Hurry up. And there's the beautiful Ariane, the lovely, the lovely, the lovely Ariane. Vic, Darius, good fight. Five minutes left in the fight. Who's gonna win this round? He's hurt, man. That was loud. Oh. And there's a takedown attempt. Good shot. Postures up here. He lands a solid elbow. Right to half guard. Full guard. And right back to side control. But he'll die. Yushu's transitions have been excellent on the ground tonight, Joe. The pass that he's taking with these guard passes is absolutely brilliant. He's showing some really technical jiu-jitsu tonight. We're going to take him down again. Another oh, takedown. And he postures up. Oh, to the back. Take the back. Oh, that's a good, good shot. shot right there. Very good shot. Oh, big shot from the top. Damn a hard left shot hand. with the left. He is getting off some huge punches here. Come on. God, look at that oh, down there, man. Ow. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Back to side control. No, you should got the full mount again. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. <laughs> Looking for the arm bar, looking for the finish. He's in full mount here. He's looking for the arm bar. First thing he wants to do is he wants to secure the arm, tie it up, and he got his arm loose. Back up again. And he connects. Looking for the suplex. Third Yushu's left thigh. He's really starting to push. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. He connects with a big punch from the top. Now he's in guard. And there we go. The decision time. And now we await the judge's decision. Very good fight. Ladariush the, the takedowns probably gave him the victory. The UFC victory tonight. I absolutely agree. He showed true grappling superiority with his takedowns, and that should be enough to get the win. Round three, we see perfect technique in this suplex. Beautifully executed. Bruce Got him in. It was a good takedown. Has gathered the judges' scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, 
three rounds. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges for the contest, 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Benil Daru. Benil Daru. It's the unanimous decision victory. <laughs> Yes, it's Staples Center's sponsor is Staples. Duh, Staples Center. Alright, I didn't go crazy just to let people know at home. Dillashaw's our EA Sports Fight League champion. He's defending his belt. Just to let the people know. But, uh, yeah, the takedowns were killing me. He went for 27 of them. But yeah, he landed him. When he did land it on, he was able to get the upper hand. That was definitely the difference in the fight. I guess I did this fight by myself. I'd be Clay. Gouda. I'd be Gouda. Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Brian Ortega and Clay Gouda. Guida, Guida. Look at that fan, I always hunched over on the stuff today. Ridiculous cardio, an iron jaw, great flexibility, great condition. As well as How would Joe Rowan know about this man's flexibility? Hmm? 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 Doesn't look like we're getting them knockouts like we did last week, but he's still too early. We had a lot of knockouts last week. This boy think he is. Brian Ortega, pumped up, very confident, uh, and ready to So what is Los Angeles, California? Yeah, you know, his ass was. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very row. unpredictable. Brian Ortega enters the octagon. Not every Los Angeles, California. For this featherweight fight, Ortega is 25. Guida is 34. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffett. Oh, there we see her Dean. Yeah, the age. Guida definitely the veteran. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Herb Dean's fucking mustache. Herb Dean, our yes, referee. it. Herb Dean and his retired ass mustache. And we are underway. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. White trucks for Guida. Black trucks for Ortega. Joe, if you train with Clay Guida on a daily basis, what is the one thing you would really zero in on as far as improving his overall game? If I would like to see one thing out of Clay Guida, I would like to see him attempting more submissions. He's such a fantastic grappler. He achieves dominant position on so many guys. I would like to see him start finishing guys in those positions. Good job in landing this series of strikes here. Ortega with a straight right to the body. Both men looking <laughs> to do damage early. Oh, and another powerful late kick. 
Damn it. First takedown of the fight. No. Oh, beautiful sweep. Postures up. Come on. Damn it. Oh, I'm a bat. He's moved to his back now. Hey. He's looking for the rear naked here. This arm bar is hey. pretty deep. He might be forced to tap here any second now. Down. Strength and technique. I just tapped out. That's not good. Excellent technique here. Got the arm bar and got the tap. That was not good. Let's check out that was the terrible. On our fight replay. And we see here as I soon as this arm bar That's gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect. That was technique. terrible. Tremendous pressure. And here we see it from right, another for you in this next Beautiful fight. Beautiful technique here. And the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. Come on, arm broken. <laughs> and here he is with the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, ten seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Brian T. City Ortega. Brian Ortega gets the submission victory here tonight. I got hurt. I was hurt. I got hit. I got hurt hard in that fight. I mean, I mean, I got tapped out. Come on, man. It happens. Okay. I mean, everybody's off for an off night. All right. Uh, I guess we're getting ready for Poirier and Green. Third fight of the night. See if Green can step up to the challenge here. Ready to go to battle and put on a show. This guy can keep a pace that very few human beings can match. His cardio is absolutely good. Punching power. Won nine of his last eleven fights. He lost six fights stuff in his career. to enter the octagon. Actually, he's from Louisiana. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take Jiu -jitsu down. Jiu-Jitsu brown belt, great condition. Down, he he won three fights in a row. Very swiftly. And his freaky fan with the pink shirt. Just creeping me out as that fan. Lightweight collision. Green is two years his elder. The rest is virtually identical. identical. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Let 
weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist on the professional record of 23 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Inland Empire, California. Is there even such towns? Maybe they do. I mean, it's like parts unknown in WWE. Because I never heard of no Inland Empire. What is he out of Emp Empire? What is he? He came with Lucius? And Jamal fuck him? Or he did. Or he was trying to get Dustin for yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest, he was probably trying to get Dustin Poirier. You know Jamal likes him lighter. Dan Rugliata, our All right. For this lightweight battle. Poirier, green. Set in Los Angeles, California. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for green. Black trunks for Poirier. Bobby Green is an excellent wrestler and a really good striker in MMA. Very good at footwork, very good at landing combinations and getting out of the way. This Unbelievable, beautiful takedown. And he turns it around into full guard. He's got a clinch. Joe, good dirty boxing from the clinch. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Oh, oh what a big suit wrestling right there. He's got his back here. He's back to full mount again. Nice ground and pound by Green. Oh, that's an outstanding transition. Oh, he gets reversed. Caught him with a punch. Looking for a takedown. Poirier with the inside leg kick. Looking for the suplex. Trying to fight off another takedown attempt. Poirier with a punch to connect. Another takedown. Yeah, look at that takedown, man. Full guard now. Oh, nasty right hand. And now he's in side control. Tries to set up the take down. And take down. Oh, blast that double and put him on the map. Right hand clipped him. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Big ground and pound. Right at him. Green will not take down. What a sequence. Half guard. Good round from both fighters. And about our faces, Dustin Poirier is a bleeder. He don't care. And here we see a huge suplex. And here is one more devastating suplex. And look at this, another perfectly executed suplex. I think mean, that's the only thing Joe Rowe knows. Amazing highlights from that round. No, I'll give it to you. Brittany. Oh, yeah, but back to my picks, man. I am definitely going that Cruz puts on a magician performance. Right on the button. Great job blocking that punch. 
He's looking to take the back. Side control. Nicely done. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying Boy, busy. He's trying to lock up a submission here. He popped out of the submission. Half guard. Green's damage on his body is very visible, and it continues to get worse. Oh, he missed that kick. Powerful oh, suplex. That's some wrestling right there. Moves to half guard. Now able to posture up. Now he moves to full guard. Green with a good right. Midway point of the fight, Joe. He just whips that punch in. Stuffed it. Stuffed it. Looking for another takedown. He's working from side control. Let's see if he looks for a knee. Re really strong, strong side control here, Mike. Foot stomp. They are really battling for position in the clinch. Right then. Good shot to the head. He's got broke it. Poster and up now. That's a huge one. Big punches here. And it's over. Just punched him out right there. The Diamond Poirier by knockout. Man. He got the full mount and landed some. Broke his defense and then Green Joe, could not protect himself. Let's see that again. And here it is again. Boom. Big wow. chilling punches the Green. Leave him on a comatose island. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds, round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier wins by knockout. <laughs> What a fight. As you see, Green just, I mean, he, he was able to land the takedowns, but he made that too much of his offense. I think in the first round, he went for four, he went for 12, he hit four of them. But then his takedown offense was shut down, and it was all poor yet. Alright, next fight, Max Holloway, Richard Lamet. Yeah, we're gonna let that one play out. Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Max Holloway and Ricardo the Bully Lamet.
Yes, I know. Ricardo Lamas makes his way out of the tunnel, and he looks ready to go. Ricardo Lamas is one of the best fighters in the world in the UFC's featherweight division and has proven it time and time again with devastating fashion inside the octagon. He is relentless, he is aggressive, and he is devastating. I think Max Holloway in real life is just going to win this one. I love Max Holloway in that featherweight division, man. Very underrated fighter is Max Holloway. I think you gotta start talking about Max Holloway in title contention. Max this Holloway guy is the real deal. A great training camp. He's ready to put on a show. This guy has great conditioning, Mike. His teammates all talk about the work he puts in in the gym. He is just a cardio machine. He never seems to get tired. And one thing we can count on is that the deeper this fight goes, the more the odds are going to swing in his favor. Max Holloway, ready to fight inside Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Tail of the tape for this featherweight showdown. Holloway is 24. Lamas Holloway is definitely has youth. He, will have he has the height advantage, but not the reach down. advantage. Very and odd, but that's what's happening here. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is three rounds of the UFC featherweight division. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. Three soft fighter. 16 minutes. Four of the season. He's down. I mean, Holloway, man, this guy, this guy got phenomenal abilities, man. I've been every, I, every time I see him, I'm just impressed with his fighting skills, man. No lie, I, I really love just watching this guy fight. Just so entertaining. And I hope for the CPU, which I have bitched about a lot of times here on these broadcasters. Even though I continue to do CPU fights, I, I still think they're entertaining. I, I just, you know, sometimes like, they leave some mind-numbingly moments for me. Whoa! Damn! Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm not going to bitch about this time. Max Holloway ends it quickly. My God! That's the first time I ever saw that in one of our fights ever that we used the CPU simulation. Wow! Watch this kick! Knock out of the night! Knock out of the night! Impressive! Wow! Just impressive! Look at this from a different angle. I mean, don't take a look at the punches. Take a look at that kick that just nailed them. Wow! Bruce Buffer with the official Incredible fight! Ladies and gentlemen, referee Abel Gaines called to stop for this contest. Holloway, winner by knockout.
we have the, the co-main event and the main event fights in just a couple moments, but just wow. I was not complaining about the CPU that time. This is a round tribute around the fights we had, Dariush and Vic. This was a very good fight. Dariush again, 27 takedown attempts. It's become a magic number for the day. Striking percentage was pretty good. I mean, definitely landed. I mean, had some issues with his defense, but all in all, was able to get the victory. You saw in the fifth five takedown attempts and his 10 takedown attempts, and it was 12. That the most successful round he had, he was able to land more takedowns. But again, still dominate the fight throughout. Then you saw Ortega versus versus Gu Guada, Guida, Guida, yeah, Guida. This is our fight of submission victory. Again, we, we we were. I was saying the first fight, man. We went to a decision. I was like, okay, maybe we're gonna get some decisions tonight. Um, no, no, that's not happening tonight. This fight ended. In mass tragedy got two takedown attempts he, he got the first he got one and then it, it, it just ended ugly for for him and it was just it and submission Ortega definitely pulled it off incredible submission and Poirier green um, this was a fight where Poirier was able to weather the storm the green gave early on. Green was more balanced in that first round with the takedowns and the strikes. Second round, abandoned his strike game, wasn't able to bat Poirier off and Poirier able to get the knockout in the closing set, closing minute of the second round on the ground. And then this fight was just tremendously good. Max Holloway in 42 seconds put a clinic that we only could describe. And I was just telling you how impressed I was with him in real life and then all of a sudden he just does something just phenomenal in the video game. I mean, look at this. Incredible. And he landed 16 out of 21 strikes he threw in a very short period of time. It is incredible what this guy can do. Max Holloway is certainly getting intention and all the attention floundering his way. He should be. That is a memorable performance. Again, we'll be back in just a couple of seconds, folks. Just give us some time here to recuperate. Again, can we just show the knockout again? Watch it. It was beautiful. Here it is again. Boom. It was incredible. But now it's time for our title fights in the night. And we're going to the co-main event. Yeah, you should be good charger wise. Yeah, it's done charging. Alright. He just said X. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Dillashaw defending the EA Sports Fight League title against Uriah Faber. It's a phantom weight matchup between TJ Dillashaw and the former all time WEC champion. Uriah Faber. The California kid, Uriah Faber. 
set to enter the octagon. And tonight, his goal is simple, to become the new UFC bantamweight champion. Uriah Faber is a very experienced fighter with elite level skills in every aspect of the sport. For a long time, he dominated the WEC featherweight division. He's a gifted athlete with a lot of heart and beautiful... Former WEC techniques. featherweight champion, but he's now in the batterweight division. Primarily in the UFC, he was in the batterweight division. He did do a brief stand in the featherweight division. Lost his first not title fight in the UFC, the Frankie Edgar in real life. But now, resurgent, back after the batterweight title. In real life, he'll be doing his third fight with Cruz, but here again, the dream fight we always wanted against Dillashaw, his teammate. T.J. Dillashaw set to enter the octagon to defend his title. champion is in focus he is in his prime he's making his way towards the cage his training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular he believes he has a solid game plan and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused tj dillashaw ready to defend the ufc bantamweight title our tale of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. Favor is six years his elder. The rest is the rest virtually, is virtually identical. identical. Both for alpha male team Bruce members. Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Buffer, this is not the main event. This is not the main event. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. This is not the moment they all been waiting. Well, I, I, I can't say that, but. Come on, settle down, Bruce. Bruce, Bruce, you gotta do it one more time. What happens on UFC 200 when you gotta do three title fights, man? What, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna die? Come on, man, no. It's not time. It's not. No, Bruce, it's not the main event. This is not the main event, Bruce. Bruce, settle down, down. He ain't listening. Mm -hmm. He didn't listen, but okay, I guess we get the title of the doctors. Denver, Colorado. Yes. Such great respect between these two. They touch gloves. Both are team members. They shook hands. Such great respect. But it's for the title. And it's hot. Five minute rounds. One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight are the counter shots of Faber with a takedown. Hammerfist gets through. Postured up. That connected. This is where those knees to the body can come and play. Well, good turn from Uriah. And great posture. 
Got him in full guard here, but he's getting caught with some if big strikes. Still a shot turning it. Just over three now. Double underhooks here. Favor. They battle in the clinch, looking for a dominant position. Now he's got the double underhooks. Nice hook in the clinch by Faber. Good knee to the leg. Man, he's really doing Big some damage. Big knee to the liver. He's knees. stunned. He's hurt to the body. Faber hurt. He's got to buy time. That knee right there, right to the liver. Take too many takedown attempts. Cannot do that to the champion. Faber's going to have to fight. Faber getting the back of Delshaw. Sweet reversal. Now Delshaw gets to the half Good guard. Here, Joe. Excellent posture. He's got full guard here. He's the champ for a reason. Joe, once again, the crowd reminding us that the California kid is one of the most oh! fighters of all time. That kick caught him. 45 seconds. And Faber having a heck of a round here. Because his left eye is really starting to close up. And now in the full guard. Dillashaw with a good punch. Big power in the ground and pound. Trying to get out of the back of Faber. And that was a very technical wrestling match. You got to get Faber that first round right there. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Faber. He did struggle in the stand up slightly. But when the fight did go to the ground, Faber showed why he is so good on the ground. And that leg kick that Faber had, they get it back down the ground. Are they going to show that? No, they're going to show the beautiful takedown from your eye face. But I think the bigger part was that leg kick. Dillashaw was going for the high kick. Faber went and kicked the other leg that he was standing on. Kicked the other leg that he was standing on to just knock Dillashaw clean on his head. So far, this fight is going according to game plan, at least for the champion. He is dictating where the fight takes place. He is done. Oh, Good takedown. Big punch from the top. Big what a punch huge with the right, right hand. Oh. Vicious ground attack. And full back. Boom! Oh, him down with an elbow. In favor, getting up. Staying right out of harm's way. Head kick. Whoa! Good Gonna try to go for the flying knee. Dillashaw the defense. Nice. Oh! Spinning heel kick. Good jab right there, catching Faber. Oh! Solid right hook. And go for the takedown in Faber now. Working hard. He's posturing up here. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Big right hand. Punches and bunches. He wants the finish. That is incredible. Faber got it. Battleweight champion of the world, Uriah Faber. Great stoppage by the referee. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. And here we see one more time, big shots, unanswered, not defending himself. The referee comes in to save him. And here is Bruce Buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Barry Young is going to stop this contest. A two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. Uriah Faber does it. The California kid, Uriah Faber, is the new UFC bantamweight champion. And the crowd. You can hear the let's go Faber chants as he did it. That second round, incredible. Let me see the statistics from that second round, please. And we are going to see the first round first. Look at Faber and Dillashaw. We're both equal in strikes, pretty equal. Faber got the one takedown. He attempted four. Dillashaw really didn't use any takedowns. The Faber initiated the ground game. Dillashaw said, okay, we'll go to the ground. But Faber landed shots to the head. Of course, Dillashaw did stun him. That one big significant strike he had. That liver shot really backed Faber out. But Faber was able to get distance. But here, this is what I want you to take a look at. Two takedowns. Both landed successfully for Uriah Faber. The California kid didn't land more strikes than Dillashaw, but he landed them two significant get strikes and he went after the head again not really a focus on the body went at the legs gently but got it to the ground and pounded to the head and that's what the California kid did and now as we get ready for what's gonna be the main event and it's gonna be Luke Rockhold defending against Michael Bispin England is sure to be fired up Oh, baby. It's a middleweight title fight between Luke This Rockwell is the main event. And ultimate fighter winner, Michael Bisbee. <laughs> the ultimate fighter season three winner, the Brit, Michael the Count Bisbee. A championship kickboxer in his late teens. He has truly evolved into a complete Rockhold, mixed martial artist. Luke Rockhold, of course, on the same team and teammate with Danielle Cornier. But Michael Bispin, strong stand-up, great ground and pound. He likes to get you to the ground and punch you in the face. Perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he And he wants to stand, he loves the punch, to and he don't mind getting punched in the face world. if he got to go through a war. Right Michael Bisson, he he's that fighting pride of, of the United Kingdom. He'll fight you. With fighters like Mike Swift, John Fitch, and Josh Koscheck. Dangerous Southpaw, Luke Rockwell. The champion is in focus right now. He's making Owner Strike Force middleweight cage. champion at Jiu Jitsu Blacked Up, and he finishes. Every fight. Ran according to plan, he believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here. And Luke Rockwell smells blood, he'll take it. But everybody who Set follows our broadcast is know the fights we had with Luke Rockhold and Chris Weidman. They were some bloodbaths, they were some spectacular fights, highlight real fights we had. For this middleweight championship fight, Bisping is six years his elder. Rockwell will have a five-inch reach advantage. Once reach, again, height, the age, all Bruce favor Rockhold, but Bisping had experience. Now, Bruce, you can go crazy. Now we let you off the leash. My prediction in real life, what's going to happen in this fight, I think Luke Rockhold wins, but it will be a very tough fight. 
I don't think he's knocking out Bisman. I think this fight will go to decision. Out of Manchester, England. San Jose, California, where them sharks play. Probably a huge sharks fan, hoping, maybe hoping that the sharks get a win and he can win both on Saturday. Be weird if he's a converted penguin fan, though. For whatever reason, he could be a Penguin fan. Luke Rocco once told Wyman he only fight old washed up fighters. Bisman's old, but I don't want to call him washed up by any stretch of the imagination. This is one of the biggest fights in UFC history. Highly anticipated for so long. Finally, they meet tonight. This fight, quite simply, is one of the biggest in UFC history. This is one of the most important title fights of the year, if not ever. An absolutely massive and important world championship. The shot. There is a lot on the line here tonight. Looking for the suplex. Took for that takedown. Side control. Big Lord's a huge left. Nice sweep. Take down. Posture's up. Beautiful turn from Bisman. Look at this. He's out of it. That's a big shot right there. Oh, he got reversed. Work, guys. Come on. Under two now. Looking for the rear naked here. Trying to get it. Break the grip. No. He's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. That could have been an issue. Nicely done. Good punch. Perfectly timed sweep. Very nice sweep. Winds up in his opponent's guard. He's got the full mount, Joe. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. Bisman gets it back to side control. Rock Colts got double under Oh, belly to belly suit black. Rock Colts inside control again. He's got himself an inverted triangle. Into the round. And Joe, what a huge takedown there in the final second. Good round. Rock Holt definitely got to be liking what he did. Right in the back of the head. Looking like Roman Reigns out here with a Superman punch. Perfectly executed suplex. 
And here you see X. Well, they're looking like Brock Lesnar right here. That belly to belly suplex. Very exciting round. And there she is, the lovely Brittany. I think Joe Rowe don't know what he's talking about. Just like we saw in round one, Joe, the champion continues to be the Whoa. He looks very sharp to me. In the clinch. Great job with that hook. Good defense by Bisbee. Hit him with the jab. Joey's doing a nice job connecting with that over. Working the body. Perfect takedown defense there for Bisbee. He's got over under. Joey go inside the numbers. Total strikes landed. Inside knees. Yeah, nice knees. Now we're back in over under. He moves to the Muay Thai clinch. He's working over under here. And he pulls away. USA chants in the Staples Center. This is the same. These are the same people in California that booed the U.S. World Cup team qualifying and cheered Mexico. So. Joe, you can see the effects of those body shots. There's a ton of bruising on this the right side. Trying to get Rockhold off of him. Knee to the body by the champ. Oh, trying to line up on that kick. Rockhold with a good hook to the body. Nice work in the clinch. Whoa, Whoa spinning back fist. Beautiful leg kick. He's doing some damage with those kicks. What great takedown defense. Side control. Moves to north south. Luke Rockhold's really doing a good job defending on his back here. His ability to defend from his back is absolutely textbook. Young fighters should learn from the way this guy handles himself. Half guard. Excellent work from the bottom by Rockhold. One minute remains. And Luke Rocco. Got like doesn't I don't think he liking how this round is unfolding for all. Nice right by Rocco. That's a big punch to the head from the top. Strong hammer fist by Rocco. Oh, he tagged him with that hook to the Whoa! Don't put your guard down going into Michael Bisping's play. Because even in the second round, Bisping came out with jab, jab, uppercut. Rocco thought Bisping was going to sit back and just relax for that round. He walked in with no defense, and he got the Piper pain right in his jaw. And God, look at his fight right now. It's a tie fight going into round number three. And another perfectly placed strike. Right there, that leg caught him right in the back. Kick right in the back will hurt you. Just who knows? No, just Ariana and Brittany. Hey, this is just Mike Goldberg. I put some subtitle and adjective in there. And Rocco is going to get taken down. He postures into place. Good defense here on the ground. Good deep, mm, in, very interesting defensive position here. And turned it. That is impressive. That was a very interesting way to defend yourself. Looks for that front kick, missed it. Nice late kick by Bisbee. 
Rockhold with a takedown. Kick right to the face. Spinning back. Dang! Rockhold gets him in the block. Good takedown attempt. Nicely done. That was in the air. Solid right hand. Lands a powerful kick. Man, I fight it. Oh, stunning jab. And a quick spin. Take down. What a right there. Took the back now. Just going to step right back over. Luke Rockwell's transition to be excellent. He's done a great job of passing guard to us. His guard passes are absolutely sensational. They're technical, he gets through them quickly, and he's very unpredictable as far as which pass he's going to take. Nice hook there. Bisbing's eyes are both starting to swell up. Come on, come on. <laughs> Clipped him. Rocco's gonna have to stop trying to go for the spectacular. For one of those All right now, Rocco, look for another takedown, dog. He's got a submission. Wow, that was close. I got one around. It's been an incredible fight. I can tell you that. Blood on rock hole. Here we see a beautiful takedown. Nice 16. This is the standard time. And here's another perfectly executed takedown. And here is another very nice takedown. The beautiful Ariani. Ready for the start of round four. This fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Caught him right in the air when going for that leg kick. Rockhold not in a good Rockhold in a great position, excuse me. Bispin may not be. Traps the arm, throws his leg over the top. Side control. Nicely done. Big left hand. Nice. Oh, Joe, he's keeping very busy. Look at the numbers. Total strikes him. Fourth round championship round. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. <laughs> and avoids the takedown attempt. Whoa! This could be it. Rocco Guinea did a ground. Into full guard. Into half guard again. Oh, huge suplex. Half guard right now. Just over two on the clock. Rocco going for the submission. And he's loose. Here in half guard, you're all good there. He's looking for the inverted triangle. 
Traps the arm, throws his leg over the top. And he got his head up. Man, he's thrown some heavy body shots. And you can see the bruising on his right side. Big body punch. Oh, Shows that? some good defense here on the ground by control. And <laughs> Rock Hall changing the position. He's got him. Let's see what he can do from here. Rock cold with a good punch. Vicious ground impact. Caught him with a right hand. Ten seconds now. He has one. Champions Champion all over the place down. tonight. Let me use star, star Let's see it one more time. The front kick snaps right on the Got caught with a front Absolute kick in the jaw. Technique. And that is the end of this fight. Here we see it again. Why are you going for a takedown with only 10 seconds left in the round? There's nothing you can do with it anyway. That's a bad decision from Rock holding. He left himself open to get kicked. Four minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. Michael Bispin, Uriah Faber, both come out as new champions here in our EA Sports Fight League. Incredible action. Until we see you next time inside the Octagon. And just a bad decision. I mean, Rockhold was winning the whole fight. Why are you going for a takedown with 10 seconds remaining? Rockhold with a, just a boneheaded decision, and it cost him the, not just the fight, but the title as well, just off of one stupid decision, and it was stupid. You just don't go for a takedown with 10 seconds left in the fight. You just don't. You just don't do it. I mean, it, it's just really dumb. It's a, it's a dumb attempt. What are you going to accomplish by going for a takedown? Rockhold's win the fight. Back off. Take the round. R Bispin was the desperate fighter. You go in and take down noting that Bispin is going to be swinging and kicking and punching at all different angles. And you walk right into him. Can we see the, the, the knockout again? Right here, Rockhold's going in for a takedown. Got caught right with a kick in the face. It's a terrible decision from R Rockhold. Back up. You get all in there, you know that he just got look like he backed up anyway, and then he goes for a takedown. You gotta know the situation here. Which Bispin sees that Rocco lets his guard down, he's gonna kick his head off. Let's see this again on a different angle right here. Going for the takedown, kicks his head clean off. Watch it again. Go see once he sees the him going for the takedown, he just goes right for the leg kick. Well, not a light kick, right to the head. He was raising up, and Rocco went right into it. Boom! You just can't do that. It's a dumb decision from Luke Rocco. And the middleweight title for the fourth straight fight changes hands. And there's the, from the fight awards here. We only had one fight that went to decision. And that was the first fight of the night. Submission of the night, Ortega, this was the only submission. This was definitely knockout of the night. And the fight of the night had to be Uriah Faber pulling out the victory. The California kid doing it in California. Incredible. So long. We will be back.